A strong-willed dog. So who's going to be more stubborn? Definitely me. With weird, obsessive behavior. Truffle has this aggression problem with the shower door. That is creepy. I'm standing in the shower with Caesar Milan. <laughs> That's bizarre enough on its own. And this cute little pup is also a danger to anyone who comes near. She's scary. Even drawing blood from Caesar. No, 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 it's okay. Caesar's first call comes from screenwriter Diana, whose best friend and writing partner has a dog that's giving them both a severe case of writer's block. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Nice I'm to meet you. Pleasure, Caesar. Who is this one? This is from Moose. <laughs> All right. So how can I help you? Well, it's really more how can you help Truffle. Truffle. Yes. Elisa, well, I've been friends since college, mm -hmm. and we're also writing partners. So we work together. And Write for what? Um, screenplays. Okay. Screenwriting. As Truffle has started to have behavior problems, meaning getting aggressive, it's affected our ability to get together and actually work together. That's not part of the script. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not part of the script. It's not part of the script. You know, one of the issues is that Truffle is so cute mm -hmm. and she comes off like, she, you know, she's loving people. So people put their hands out and she snaps at them. Yeah. Truffle is the cutest dog, but when Truffle gets aggressive, she's a little dog, but she can freak you out. Unfortunately, it can look like a vampire. She can be vicious. If someone tries to pet Truffle, Truffle will, you know, show her teeth and and bite. She bites. She can draw blood. She bit me. It's getting to be just stress. Yeah. Hundred percent stress. Yeah. I wish I could spend more time with Elisa. I wish we could do the things we used to do. That's over. But we really have to change our working relationship. You wait. I resent Truffle. A distance has grown between us where we're communicating more by email and text than in person. It's pathetic. All right, so how do we get to meet Alisa and Truffles? We have this happy, yappy hour that we do. So if you go over in that direction, you'll see Elisa. All right. Okay? Caesar positions himself to see how Elisa and Truffle enter the dog park. Hey. Oh, no, no, no. Hey. Truffle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, that's really bad. No, don't do that. To observe Truffle's aggressive behavior up close, Caesar has Diana approach her friend with a live streaming camera. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Truffle. <don't. Hey. laughs> That's not good. Hey, 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 Hold on. Hey. Stop. <laughs> Oh, did it draw blood? How? Hi. Or how? <laughs> yeah, you gotta learn how to hold it. Pass it. Give me the back. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the rear. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Hi, Caesar. My name is Elisa, and I have a five year old Shih Tzu Pomeranian, a Sharanian named Truffle. I always wanted a dog. About five years ago, I went to a pet store. I saw a truffle. Deal was done. She was 
this big. She was the sweetest little fluff ball ever. She was so loving and sweet, but she's the love of my life and she's the devil. Truffle. She is aggressive and scaring people. Did she get you? She can get you. And scaring me. Truffle. Diana and I can't work and I don't know what to do about it. I first noticed Truffle becoming more aggressive when Truffle got attacked by another dog that came head on at her. But now, like, a dog will come up to say, hi, how you doing? And she'll just, no, back off. I am worried that another dog won't take it, and that dog can really hurt Truffle. Stop it. That's scary. She's never bitten another dog but she's bitten me. <laughs> it does hurt when she nips. She just did this the other day. She, she will nip at me if she doesn't like something, um, like the shower. She is so worried that I, or anybody really, will go into the shower. She's very stubborn. Truffle. Walking with Truffle, it's become a big problem. This is where Truffle displays some of my favorite behavior, which is the drag. When I'm grooming her, she'll turn around and try to bite me. Can you drop it? Truffle is very territorial when it comes to food. Stop! She's scary. She is. I do worry that someone really could get bit, and then that would be big trouble for everybody but I could never give her up. So that's just like off the table for me. I'd move to another country. I swear I would get, take our suitcase and run because she's such a wonderful, beautiful little dog. She's like my little soul. She lives right here. She's so much fun. She wouldn't know it. I want to fix her problems so bad. I just love her so much. I really enjoy her. I mean, I do. Like, there's just... She's, she's the best and the worst. So what happens when you hold it like this? Yeah. You put them into a panic mode. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she panicked right on my finger. Yeah. <laughs> Her eyes came out. I know. Well, that's bad, right? Yeah, once, once the owner is afraid of his own dog, and then it's, it's yeah. not a healthy relationship, so it becomes really toxic. Yeah, it is. Your trust level is zero. First thing I notice about Alisa is that she tends to have as soon as Truffle show any kind of aggression. Her energy says panic, and Truffle is answering the call. Hey, right. Oh, sure, I got, I got it, I got it. I know you write scripts, so this becomes like a horror movie. Yes, it does. It's true. So the script you're writing is not a script of harmony and balance. Right. You accomplish, you accomplish it with exercise and rules balance limitations. Right. And, and so right. animals are made for movement. Right. Not so they live one. with a very stationary. <laughs> well, it is. They, they are. It's just. No, she, I want her to be. I've seen her pull Truffle down the street because yeah. Truffle doesn't want to walk. So I think we have to go for a walk. Okay. Let's Come do on. it. Thank you, everybody. Thank Appreciate you. it. So, how often Truffle walks? Truffle walks at least three to, three to five times a day. Oh, that's Wow, that's she a gets lot. A, well, a truffle walk is not much of a walk. It's not? No. Let's see. It depends. This is good. This is good so far. Yeah, yeah this is really good. Yeah. Well, now she's right. putting on the brakes a little. Mm, okay. Truffle, come on. Usually I, I have to coax her along. Come on. Truffle. Oh, wait. All right, so, you, so if that is the technique. Yeah. Uh, because you put pressure, but you never relieve the pressure. Okay. They they end up staying yes. stuck. Yes. Okay. See. So here we're gonna put a little bit of pressure. There you go. There you go. 
little bit because you already do it but but you end up just dragging yes yeah. we end up getting a trail i'm just finding the way what works right caesar transforms the leash from truffle's harness into a more precise slip leash so that he can shift the point of control from truffle's chest to her neck there you go and then while she moves you just switch it mm -hmm. to the heart look. okay so when i get a constant she's falling that's right then i'll just move it yeah okay here let's let's move it again this is a dog that is very used to getting her own way with an owner who allows her to hop. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. So here. That's I'm a favorite. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, okay. rolling over is, is just a way to control a lot more. Okay. We just have to be patient about it, okay? Yeah. That's all right. This is usually when I pick her up, which mm -hmm. is terrible. Yeah, but she's doing the things that she has done before. Yeah. Nothing is new. Right. Yeah, because it's easier just to carry them. Yes. But then you teach that that's the way to do it with a harness. Right. The key to winning this battle is not giving up. Patience, patience, patience. So who's going to be more stubborn? Definitely okay. me. All right, that's yeah. good. Hey. So who's going to be more stubborn? Definitely okay. me. Caesar is locked in a battle of wills with Elise's dog, Truffle, who usually resists going for walks. Hey. That's all right. Relax, relax. That, that is a sign that okay. the brain is about to give up. There you go. It's coming, it's coming. The walk was a bit challenging. We just have to be patient about it, okay? Okay. Before it gets good, it gets bad. The dog learned that if he stops, yes. he manipulates. Yes, she does. Okay. okay. Truffle really did put the brakes on and show him, no. There you go. There we go. He soon was really nailing it. Right. So we didn't, we didn't give up. We stayed calm and confident. And patience. Yeah. It may have taken a while, but when I provided calm leadership and didn't give in to Truffle's ways, she realized what I wanted from her and followed my lead. It's really to understand a little pressure. Uh-huh and then acknowledge when she's moving and relieve the pressure. Then she knows what that means. Okay. Well, I mean, I have to practice. Yeah. I have to practice. Exactly. Yeah. Now it's your turn. Here we go. Tough. Move and expect to be followed. Okay. Your way, not her way. Uh, that's too hard. See, that was a little too hard. Okay. There Good you girl. go. That, right there. That. Good girl. Come back. Truff. This is the first time Truffle is not running the show. There you go. And the good news is, is that she's actually responding to Alisa. Bring him in, bring him in. There you go. Bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. Bring him in. There, relax. There you go. Good girl. As soon as she moves in, relieve the pressure. That's when you say good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. Now go down. So that's when you can reward. Okay. Right. Because she came. So yes. You, there you go. Good girl. I'm realizing that this is about me and not truffle. That was significant. I can see that Caesar can give me the tools to correct my behavior. I'm really grateful and I'm really excited and hopeful. This is a dog that hasn't learned to trust humans. Patience, patience, patience. Truffle! Oh! Ooh, truffle! A dog like that can be very dangerous if you allow the problem to continue. Here's your baby back. Thanks, Caesar. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. I appreciate it. After Caesar's...